In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a wireless microphone system that could help you in your streaming or your content creation and allow you to disconnect from a mic setup like this, where you're basically attached to your desk at all times. So let's open this box up, see what's inside, and then we're going to test these out and see how they sound and see if we can replace this with these. Now for me, when it comes to audio, oftentimes I have streaming in mind. I stream over on Twitch, and so I'm usually sitting here at my desk in front of my computer playing games and hanging out with the chat. And so this is the same basic view that you're gonna see if you come by my Twitch stream, which by the way, you all should. I invite you to come by and hang out with us anytime or come ask questions over there. We'd love to have you with us. But either way, if I need to get up and move around or I have a guest come in to sit down at my stream, then this mic is not really gonna be the best option unless I have two of these. And in this particular setup, you you know it's kind of you know I'm not in a huge space I don't have a lot of space so it's a little bit harder to pack everything into this type of system for multiple people but if I had a wireless mic system like this one then it could take care of the problem now if you're a streamer particularly or a content creator in general and you are looking at this microphone for either one of those purposes the chances are you're also going to need graphics and things like that so before we unbox this I do want to say a big shout out to the sponsor of this video who also happens to be one of the best places to go get graphics for your Twitch stream or your YouTube channel, and that is Placeit.net. Placeit has thousands of mockups and templates for stream overlays, Twitch panels, logos, merch, YouTube end screens, animations, and so much more. Once you find the template you're looking for, you can customize colors, text, and other elements to make the perfect design creation. After that, download it and it's completely yours to use however you want with full commercial license. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on design work, you can purchase a monthly or yearly subscription to place it and get unlimited downloads. Just use my 15% off discount link in the description below. So guys, I highly recommend you go check out placeit.net. It's a fantastic resource. Links in the description for it. But also a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video as we get ready to dive in and take a look at this microphone kit. Now, the name of this microphone kit is called the BYXM6S2, and it's uh, kind of a long, complicated name, but basically it's an ultra compact 2.4 gigahertz dual channel microphone system. And so it operates over Wi-Fi rather than through a radio frequency, which is what the traditional mic packs usually have used. Um, but this allows you to not only have cleaner audio most of the time with less interference, but also allows you a pretty far range. These things can go up to, they claim a hundred meters, which is a little over 300 feet, I believe. But the, the cool thing about it is these are also extremely compact. So I'm going to take you over. Let's take a look at the box and then we're going to unbox everything that comes inside and uh, talk about this whole kit before we test it out. Now, here's the box for the Boya BYXM6 S2 microphone set. And a couple things I wanna show you guys before we actually take everything out is that they do claim, like I said, that 100 meter range of operation. They, they uh, claim a seven hour runtime on these things. So you should be able to get about seven hours of wireless mic use out of these, which is incredible. And uh, it's also USB type C for the charging ports. So these are, uh, you know, future proofed in that regard for everybody who loves the USB USB Type-C, myself included. Uh, that's very nice. And then on the back of the box, they talk about a couple different things. The 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmission. So you can see that right up there at the top, as well as they do have an easy to use OLED display, which we'll take a look at. Um, they've got clips on them, so you can actually use these things without lapel microphones or, or the uh, lavalier microphones rather. And then uh, they have real-time headphone monitoring. So a couple of things that they point out as features that they really like. Now, we'll take a look at, at all the stuff that's mentioned down here in the box in person. But uh, if you wanna see all of the, the specs of the mic, I'm gonna go ahead and hold this up. You guys can take a look right there. Pause the video if you wanna take a look at what all the specifications are. Okay, so. I could pull everything out of this box piece by piece and make this a long, complicated, drawn out thing, or we could just do something like this. Okay, that was way easier than uh, pulling everything out individually. I've actually gone through and uh, pulled everything out. I've taken a look at it. I charged these things up. Uh, I went ahead and put, like, for instance, on the lavalier uh, microphones, they come with these little, you know, fluffy 
kind of uh you know pop filters and i went ahead and put those on there just to save time but uh anyway it comes with that it comes with the clip which we also attach to the lavalier microphones it comes with two lavalier microphones for both of the transmitters so each one of these transmitters is its own uh it's its own basically you know microphone system so if you look at the top of these uh you'll notice that at the very very top there's two microphones so that little that little grill right there is a microphone and then next to it you have a mic uh, you've got a mic lavalier input and so uh, anyway you've got two of these right there and then these both will transmit at the same time to your receiver and this is the receiver right here you can see a line out right there and a headphone monitoring output and so you can not only uh, run a line out of this into your camera so that your camera can record the audio but you also can monitor your audio through this uh, this device which is really cool because if your camera whatever camera you're using doesn't have a headphone jack on it uh, this will take care of that and you can you can monitor the audio coming out of both of these transmitters um, through this receiver here so your camera doesn't even have to have one it just has to have a line in for that line out so that you can pick up the audio in your recording but it comes with those it comes with uh, two little furry what they call dead cats which these basically just snap on top here So those just go right on top of these microphones. And then if you wanted to clip these on your shirt, you could take this and just clip it right up here, like on your neckline. That makes this whole thing an entire mic system. Uh, it's got the it's got the dead cat, so there's not going to be any wind noise. This cuts out wind noise if you don't know. Uh, it's got the clip on the back of it, which is really really awesome. On the other side, you can see where you charge this thing up via USB Type C right there. And then if we turn it around, there's nothing on the bottom except for the uh, Wi-Fi logo. And then on this side, you can see the mute button. Uh, and then the set button as well. And those are actually, if I can get this in close enough here, you can see the plus and minus buttons. These are your volume rockers as well. And then the mute button is also the power button if you hold it down. So this is a very, very cool little all-in-one microphone system. But it goes a step further because not only do you get these transmitters and the receiver, you get the little dead cats for both of the uh, transmitter microphones. But let's say that you don't want this on your shirt. You want something a little bit more professional that uh, is going to be less noticeable, right? Because this is, uh, although it's not big, it's definitely going to be more noticeable if it's up there in your collar than something like this. So they give you a lapel or a lavalier microphone and this runs directly out of this up onto your your shirt or wherever you want to clip this now the cool thing about this is it basically turns this pack into your mic pack okay so this would clip onto your belt go into your pocket your shirt pocket your pants pocket you know you can clip it even behind your head on your you know the collar of your shirt if you want to uh so with because of this clip right here it makes this basically just a a super light and portable mic pack and then this runs right out of here and you just plug this in right up here like that and this becomes your microphone and so now the mic on this is deactivated and you're using this microphone but you've got your uh, your double lavalier mics that will also go into those and those become mic packs and then on top of that you get two cables here now these two cables kind of look similar but if you'll notice the ends of these cables are actually a little bit different uh, one of these cables is a TRS to TRS cable. So this is what goes from the, the receiver to your camera, for instance. But they also give you this right here, which is a TRS to TRRS end. And you see those three little rings there. That's what constitutes a TRS to TRRS. The TRRS is the three rings. This is what goes into your cell phone. So they give you a cable so that you can run this receiver right here directly into your phone and you can actually use this mic pack with your phone and use your iphone or your android or whatever kind of phone you have so this entire mic pack gives you the ability to not only record on a camera a professional camera setup but also to record directly into your phone so we may actually give that a try and show you guys what that looks like and sounds like but the first thing i want to do is plug this stuff up to my streaming rig what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and i'm actually going to run a cable which i've already run directly into my uh mixer board now this mixer board is plugged into my streaming pc which is what i'm actually recording on right now so you guys are seeing a a live streaming setup recording this youtube video but i wanted to do this in order to show you that if i was live streaming i could use these as the microphones for my live stream as well okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold down the power button right here on the side of the uh receiver and when we do you guys will notice that these things actually have a little screen 
that comes on. Check that out. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, little uh, little screen that's right there on the front to show you your audio levels. Um, this will show you your audio levels, and it'll also show you uh, you know if both mics are working. And then we're going to take our transmitter, and we're going to just hold that little button right there, which is the button that says mute underneath it, but it's also the power button. Hold that down. That should come on. There we go. Oh, look at that. And now, check that out. We've got we've got audio. If I was to put this up to my mouth here, you can see on the uh, receiver, check, check, check. There's our audio levels right there. So, we've got these set up. It looks like they're working very well. Um, let's go ahead and plug in this cable, which goes to our streaming setup, and then let's uh, see how this sounds. All right, and as you guys can see, I have the Boya microphone right here attached to my neckline. It's just pointing straight up at my throat, basically. And then I've got the little dead cat on there just to show you guys what it sounds like. You probably wouldn't need this indoors unless you had like an air conditioner or a fan on or something like that. But this is the full setup, and this is super portable. You could take this off of your shirt. You could talk into it and put it up to another person, and they could talk into it. Kind of have a portable microphone type system. But this is super clean. I like this. This is awesome. Now, I will say running this into the mixer board that I have now it was a little bit complicated because I didn't use one of my channels with a preamp because I was lacking the right cable uh, but you can see right here out of the transmitter I've got this cable running over to my mixer board which is a Yamaha MG 10 XU if you're wondering but look at that it's literally bringing up the uh, it's literally bringing up the the different audio levels very very nicely there uh, it shows me what my volume level is. It goes from uh, one to six, so that's at maxed out right now on the uh, on the, the receiver. And it also shows you your battery level over here and how much signal you have for Wi-Fi. So this this is I mean this is awesome, you guys. This is super simple. I can get up. I can move around the room. I can go over here. I can talk to you guys from the back corner, and it's going to work, right? Okay, so now I'm outside to do this next test. Now, as you guys can see, I actually have my uh, Boya microphone on right here. I'm just using the dead cat on the actual mic itself. And then uh, I've got these headphones in, which is allowing me to monitor my own audio out of the receiver. And this is all plugged into my phone. So you guys are watching this on my phone. But I decided to see what a run and gun you know, audio video setup would look like and how good it could sound. So we're outside. Uh, there's planes going overhead. There's uh, you know uh, cicadas out in the background and all that kind of stuff. But because of the Boya microphone having a volume control and the receiver having a volume control, you can actually either open or close your mic in order to cut out more background or to allow more background background in. So uh, that's a really cool feature. That's something that uh, you know other wireless mics don't necessarily have is if you turn up the volume on the mic, it will pick up more of the surrounding sounds and you can turn the volume down on the receiver. On the flip side, if you want less of the surrounding sounds and it to be more focused on your voice, you turn this mic down and you turn the receiver up. So it's a really, really cool open mic, closed mic type of system, uh, which gives you a lot of flexibility. But I wanted to test this on this mobile setup. I've got a tripod, it's, it's on the end of the tripod. I'm just kind of, you know, vlog setup doing this. But I also am gonna set the camera down and then I'm gonna walk down this fence and see how far I can get and if this microphone will actually pick up my voice the entire way. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take these headphones out because I'm hearing a delay and it's just like throwing me way off. <laughs> We're going to walk down and see how far we can get without it breaking up. Okay, so I'm going to walk down this fence line here and talk to you guys as we go down and then when I get all the way down to the end of the fence, uh, I'll do a, a spin, see if it cuts out, things like that. But it's kind of weird because I'm talking to you as I'm backing up and I can't hear myself. I'm used to hearing myself in my own headphones as well as uh, you know, just getting that feedback. So this is kind of cool to be able to talk with a microphone as I'm, I'm walking around. And so we're gonna continue to go down this fence and see how this mic sounds. Hope I don't run into anything. I don't think there's anything behind me except for the rest of the fence here. But uh, I'm gonna spin around right here. Talk, 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 see how this goes. I don't know if it, uh, I don't know if it cut out or not. I'll put something in the video if it did, but uh, we're gonna go all the way down to the end of the fence, and uh, we're pretty far away. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna count my steps, my paces on the way back, and see what this is like. But I'm at the very end of the fence here, and uh, let's turn around again. Check one, two. Check one. I mean, this is this is a long way away from my camera. I probably never need to be this far away from the camera unless I was doing some kind of 
you know, zoomed in shot on top of a mountain and then I zoom, have a cameraman zoom the camera out, you know, or something like that. But let me count my paces on the way back and let's see how many, roughly how many feet this is away from the camera that I am right now. One, two, three, four, 57, 58, 59, 60, 14, 15, 16. I was 122 feet away from the camera uh, when I did this whole this whole walk down there. So 122 feet, they're saying 100 meters, which is 300 uh, and I believe 20, 328 feet uh, is what they claim this goes up to. So almost three times as far as I just walked down to the end of this fence is what this microphone is supposed to be able to reach to, which is absolutely absurd. You're, you're not gonna need that, but the, the whole point is that this microphone has a very long range very crystal clear and it's going to have a lot less interference than something like radio frequency uh you know mic packs and and you know the anything that uses an rf signal is going to have more interference than something like uh you know a wireless signal so these microphones are very usable even outdoors at longer distances and they're super portable which makes this very very nice and i'm using like i said a running gun setup so one wire going right into my phone from the receiver and then of course the transmitter is right on my shirt this is probably the most run and gun type of setup that you can get. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know how this sounds. There's a really loud cicada behind me. I don't know what that sounds like. We'll look in the video, but I have this turned down to where this shouldn't be picking up as much background noise. And, uh, and then I've turned up the volume on the actual receiver over there by the, by the, uh, the camera. So, or the phone. So anyway, let's go back into the studio and see, uh, how this sounds. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about how this microphone sounds. I think with the pack that you're, you're getting with all of this stuff included, you've got the cables to run it into your phone, uh, to also run it into your camera. You've got two lavalier microphones, which we will plug this in in just a minute. You've got the, uh, the two transmitters and the one receiver. The, the dead cats, you get a bag to carry it in. I didn't mention that, but you have a bag to carry all of this in, as well as these three um, you know, USB type C cables. Now I will tell you guys that Boya did uh, just recently come out with a charging case for this. And so you'll look on the back here, I've got them covered up still, but these three little pins right here, these three little pins, these are the charging ports. So there's actually a case that Boya has that you plug this, uh, you basically put this and your other two um, transmitters into and it will charge all three of these at the same time. That would be way better than these three cables here, but I don't have that so I can't show it to you. Uh, Boya, if you want me to take a look at it, send me one. <laughs> I do think that this is a great, this is a great setup right here. All right, so now I have the lavalier microphone on. This microphone right here is deactivated, which is on the actual uh, transmitter itself. Um, but we're using the lavalier. You guys tell me what you think it sounds like. This should actually be even a little bit more clear and potentially even cut down on more background noise. So let me know in the comments what you think about how this sounds. But because it comes with both the lavalier microphones and of course the, the, the double transmitters, you get multiple options. So whatever you prefer, this is a little bit more discreet. It's gonna be out of the way. You can hide this oftentimes if you're wearing a jacket or a collared shirt. I could run this through my shirt itself and then you would not see anything hardly at all. There we go. All right, so I went ahead and read it, ran it through my shirt and now you just have this little tiny lavalier up here on my neckline and you don't see the cords or anything like that. I love this. This is running into my entire stream rig so I could technically stream with this and I may at some point uh, instead of using my normal microphone if I'm actually doing something, making something or, or working on something, then uh, I could use this and this would be a lot easier than having to be stuck right in the same place with my, you know, my, my traditional boom arm and microphone and things like that. Right now on Amazon, I will tell you guys that this kit is coming in at $169.95. And to put that in perspective, if you were to get a very a similar kit from Amazon, the best deal that I could find right now for the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is a comparable or, uh, you know, very similar, very popular wireless mic system, they're $289 and you don't even get all of the same stuff. Um, I do like Rode again, and I haven't tested out the Wireless Go 2, so maybe there's a significant difference between them and you know the regular Wireless Go's that I do have. Uh, but either way, I think that you know the, the Boyas is a great deal, and for what you get in the package, 
it's kind of a no-brainer, especially if you're getting started out in content creation or streaming and you need wireless microphones. This is a great kit to get. So there it is, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this review and what you thought about these microphones and, and me doing this on my stream setup. Uh, and of course, I would love to hear uh, you know your feedback. Do you like videos like this? If so, hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It would help this channel out a lot. I would greatly appreciate that. But also, if you want to come by my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash eaglegarrett, ask me questions, come hang out with us. We'd love to have you over there. And in addition to that, you can also find us in our Discord server. We've got a pretty big Discord server of a lot of people in content creation and gaming and streaming. And so join us over there at discord.gg slash flock. We would love to have you. And if you're on any other social media platforms, feel free to look me up. I'm on Twitter the most, but here are all my social medias. And I've got links for all of this down in the description of this video. In addition to that, I'm gonna have links for all of this stuff down in the description, including the Boya BY-XM6S2 microphones that I've been using during this video. So if you'd like to purchase those off of Amazon, make sure you click those links because they are Amazon affiliate links and they do support this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, evening, whatever it is for you. And until the next video, as always, rock on, peace out, God bless. And last but not least, kick off! As high of level as we are, but when you do the like level 66 ones, they're crazy. Oh yeah, like the the ones that you do on the world tour. They're mad. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey Mr. Mash, what are you doing, Bobby? What are you doing, Mr. Bobby? <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Bobby? <laughs> the hell is he doing? I think he's uh, talking to his dog, yeah. We'll tell him to get in Discord when we run the the uh thing here in a minute. <laughs>